How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? I'm here because I hope that you may share our enthusiasm and conviction that we have created something more than a motion picture. Within the pages of this remarkable book, General S.L.A. Marshall has told in blunt and blistering language the whole truth about the Battle of Pork Chop Hill, on the map only 237 feet high. On the screen, it towers above every war story ever told. Meanwhile, only 70 miles away, at Pan Munjam, the peace talks dragged on. If we can settle on the truce line to which I thought you had agreed, this hill is right in the middle of the neutral zone. So how can it be worth any man's life? Don't you feel some responsibility towards the thousands of... Tell them about my 36 points. They say you're one short. Yeah, but sir, battalion can't add. Sir, I consider the rotation system a solemn contract between the United States Army and myself. You're right. Sue them. I'm the assistant public information officer. I came up to get a few pictures. And the folks at home could use a little encouragement. We don't want to be in the way. If you'll just give us a quick briefing so we'll know where to go. I won't. Have you any suggestions as to where these people can go? I better not. I'd hate to live through this just to be court-martialed. Look, guard. I have about 25 men. They're completely spent. I expect a heavy attack about dark. That'll be half an hour from now. Unless we can be reinforced, we should be withdrawn. Over. Lieutenant, we can't reinforce, and we have no authority to withdraw you. Out. The famous American war correspondent, Richard Tregaskis, has this to say about our picture. As a correspondent who saw Pork Chop Hill at the time of some of the battles there, I can say, this is it. 